This program is brought to you by Sunglow Feeds. Feed their potential. Kilmers uh, have been uh, on this present location since the late 40s, 1940s, where dad and mom moved up here. It wasn't until late 50s, like 1958, that we actually started with any hogs on the farm. Uh, my older brother and I, uh, <clears throat> well my brother, they bought 4-H pigs for him and happened to be Poland China pigs is where we started with. But, and uh, after that year, first year in 4-H, uh, Dad bought a couple of Poland China gilts from a breeder here local, and that's where we started at. And from that point on, it and I went to school in uh, late 60s to Purdue, and at that time we actually kind of switched to raising spots and raised those till I was back home here uh, after graduating from college. I. Uh, actually went to work for a Hampshire breeder at Michigan Town, Indiana, Shoup Brothers, which Denny Shoup was primary owner of that. And we uh, started the Hampshire herd when I come back home in uh, the spring of uh, 74, 1974. So we were raising purebred Hampshires and purebred spots at that point. And as time went on, we got involved with what at that point was what was called Premier Swine Breeding Systems. We were selling uh, a lot of commercial uh, boars and also purebred boars and getting uh, business from across the country for show pigs and also for commercial hogs. Jim went to school at, at Joliet College in uh, Illinois there in 2000, I guess it was. And uh, he was there for two years. After uh, two years, he come back home in 2002. We uh, kind of we're still raising the same number of hogs in the purebred lines and all, and kind of just went ahead and expanded on that at that point. Uh, the Hampshire numbers had come up. Uh, we kind of maybe backed out of the, the spotted hogs, and we're just raising uh, purebred Hampshires and, and also uh, commercial boars and selling commercial boars. And as time went on, uh, you know, the history of the swine production changes over the years, and we headed more towards the show pig uh, industry at that point and uh, <clears throat> that's when we started raising more uh, the purebreds we had durox uh, yorkshires and of course uh, a large number of crossbreds for the show pig industry uh, my dad i guess actually started this out and then i took over and now jim's taken over and uh, he's got a couple boys that hopefully they'll take over someday uh, currently we're uh, basically the same number as we're running about 200 sows uh, you know and we feed out we actually feed out all the pigs that we either sell them as show pigs early or we feed them out and finish them and, and sell them to market uh, we've been running that same number for a number of years <clears throat> and <clears throat> there's a, oh uh, I think we're probably about 60 percent crossbred litters and 40 percent purebred litters uh, that being Hampshire's Durox and Yorkshire's and a few Chester's. Uh, Jim's kind of in charge of the, uh, the breeding and the, and the farrowing end of things, and uh, I've, that's one thing I've kind of let him kind of take over. So you know, within our operation, we normally have around 400 litters a year, um, kind of farrowing all year round in terms of making that show pig. Uh, you know, we're selling them from coast to coast. Uh, uh, we'll have them for any age or any show that you would need them for and, uh, and we kind of try to meet the numbers of working with you know FFA advisors and group uh, and group pigs uh, or even more just with the individual families and trying to find that ideal show pig. For me the most rewarding part is it's, uh, it's a family operation and it's been something that uh, my three kids were in 4-H and as I was and and uh, now that Jim's kids have, uh, are getting up older enough to be in 4-H coming up and I've all, also had grandkids in 4-H uh, from my, my daughter's kids. Uh, 
<clears throat> that's that's the part that means the most to me. And I know uh, for myself, I've always been, you know, hogs was kind of a natural thing for me to go to once we got started and when he was introduced to me as a as a eight year old. And my son Jim here, uh, you know, I know he knew I knew at that when he was five that that was probably where he was going to end up, and he was pretty sure that's what he wanted to do. And I just uh, was glad that we can uh, be part of it and give him a give him the platform to, to do what he likes doing best. One of the most rewarding things of uh, raising pigs or show pigs is, you know, getting to work with my family, but then also working with other families and seeing them go out and uh, do do well with our, our pigs and, and seeing them go out and compete and win shows and, and also seeing them kind of work as a family. For me, the future is uh, looking to my, my son, Jim, and his family, and any of my other grandkids also that want to be involved. This is a Walton Webcasting Production. Livestock like you've never seen before.